How y'all doing today, man? Oh, man, you know what we in right now? We in June. That means it's time for the King Series Chapter 2 to start off. But before we get started, got to stay rest in power to Uncle Eddie Ray Brown. Miss you, Uncle. As you see right now on, on OG Craig's shirt right there, honoring him for the whole entire series. For every series to come, he's going to be a part of it. Remember this. When you a king, you got to wear your crown the right way. And my uncle, he wore his crown the right way. Absolutely. But you know what? I'm excited that he introduced uh, Chapter 2 because you know what? Chapter 1 was off the chain, Kyle. It was off the chain. Man, we brought some folks that were spitting fire last year. I yes. mean, spot. And when you get brothers in an in Red Avenue like this that are spitting good knowledge for folks who can learn some stuff, well, let's get too far. Let's get too Let me stop and go back. A king is a leader. Somebody wears a hat like this. Somebody who may wear a hat like this. Yeah. <laughs> a leader. And guess what? Good leaders lead from the front. And Kyle, your leaders last year came from the front and they came hard. So I'm happy. I'm and happy. You didn't have any on them. I sure did. I, I like to prop all my brothers. I enjoyed mine, but I like to prop all my brothers from last year. Hope we bring some more of them back this year. Got five this year. But. Kyle calls me OG. And I call my OGs, if you know anything about a man, old. OG. Old. Well, then we old too. We, get, we are old for a reason. We don't with die it. young. Okay. With it. With it. Okay, I go with that. I go with that. But you know what? Leaders are what kings are. And we lead from the front. Now, we are leading spiritually. We're leading Business-wise, we're leading in our churches, we're leading in our families. That's what you're about to hear in this chapter two. All of them got something to say. There's some good men out here, guys. You're looking at two, and you're going to hear a lot more coming up. So, Kyle, over the next few, oh, Lord, have mercy. Over the, <laughs> over the next few months, yeah. you're going to be spending, y'all going to hear some things that you are really enjoying. So week after week after week, listen to what you what they're gonna be saying. You will never regret. It. And by the way, you got kids, sons, bring them up there and listen to this. You're gonna want to watch. You want them to see what we're about to give you. Mr. Craig buying everybody a hat that watched the video. Come, I'm excited. <laughs> Y'all, check it out. Get ready. Let's go. How y'all doing today, man? Hey, guess what, man? It is June 1st. Wow. Yeah, I'm going to have so much fun with the Queen Series. I know y'all forgot about the King Series. Guess what? We are here now. This is the logo. We are in here right now. Hey, I've been telling y'all, we all knew this Queen Series. I'm going to bring some strong kings on here. And I don't know, y'all thought I was playing about the Queen Series. Guess what? You got 27, 28 queens that brought you straight glory. But now, nah, Time for the case to rock. The champ is here right now. Let's go right now. I want to introduce you to somebody that's from my hometown. Yes, Port Arthur, Texas. Yes, you probably never heard of it because we're real small, but guess what? We big in the heart. We big in numbers because you know what we do? We do the same thing y'all do out there. We do a little bit better. We do a country side. It's country, it's country rap tune that Pimp C say. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do, man. So this is about to be a very engaging video. It's about to be strong. Hey, I am so honored to have my brother to be the first king on the King Series to go out here. He's about to rock out. He's about to show you his muscles, probably. He's going to probably grab him his beard. Probably going to move his hat or something like that. He's going to just do it. He's from Texas, man. You just do all types of things. People don't even know why you do it. We just do it. You know what I'm saying? And we don't ride horses. We ride Callaway. Don't forget that. Hey, right now, I need my brother, Justin. Bro, I need you to come in there telling people who you are. What is the box you that makes you this king that you are? Tell them what you've been doing in life, what your accomplishment is, and why are you here? So we get ready to start this conversation between me and you. Let's go, bro. Hey, what is going on, everybody? Hey, thanks for having me, man. It's, it's definitely an honor. Um, as you know, I am Justin P. Slaughter. 
I am a personal trainer, certified personal trainer. I own Jay Slaughter Fitness, but I'm also an actor. I've been known for playing in the movie 90 Feet From Home. But other than that, I'm also a recording artist. I released my first single, Old Movie Body, produced by Vinny D. It's literally everywhere. Apple Music, uh, Spotify, Pandora, SoundCloud, uh, you name it. Um, this year has been the most productive year. Um, being an actor, if you can knock out um, one movie a year, that's that's great. If you can knock out two movies a year, that's that's even better. Um, this year, you know, post COVID, you know, being that last year, you know, COVID nineteen would pretty much shock the nation, um, you know, all over. But you know, since everything started opening back up this year, um, I'm actually getting ready for my fifth movie this year. So I was, I've been able to, I've been blessed to be able to knock out five movies this year. And um, we actually just released a teaser trailer for our movie Meteor that we just wrapped filming two weeks ago. So, I mean, I guess you could say I'm a jack of all trades in a sense, but um, man, it's, you know, all glory to God, man, because, you know, he's the source and, you know, without him, you know, I, I can't do any of this. So, I mean, it's, it's all to him, but um, it's, man, it's, it's amazing. It's, it's really amazing. Um, when you work on these movies, you you, you train and you, you train mentally and, and physically. It's, and it's no different than, you know, person training or working out, you know, I also coach uh, bodybuilders, you know, they get ready for these shows and everything correlates together from the health and fitness to the, the film industry. It takes a lot of mental strength. It takes a lot of physical, a lot of physical strength and um, being able to coexist all in, into all these things, man, it, it really it really makes you see life on a totally different level because um, you hear a lot of people saying that, oh, I, I wish I can do this. I wish I can do, I wish I had time. I wish, I wish I could do this. I wish, I wish, I wish. But it's like, you know, if, if God woke you up this morning, you know, if you, you know, if, if you're alive, then, you know, that, that's your shot, that's your chance. Like I said, you know, with acting, you know, it takes a lot of mental capacity as well as uh, physical. Same thing with you know health and fitness, a lot of mental and a lot of physical. So if you can wake up in the morning and if you can think that you can't do it, then you can also think that you can do it. You know, it's like the body can only do what the mind allows. So it's like, you know, with me, you know, I, I refuse to give up, man. I, I refuse to be mediocre. I refuse to be like anybody else. You know, I, I refuse to jump in a circle when, and when everybody wants me to, I, I refuse to be labeled. You know, I, I refuse, you know, I'm very hard headed when it comes to uh, surrendering, to, to, to giving up, to um, just falling into that bracket of a shoulda, woulda, coulda. I, I don't want to be like the people that um, I used to see on the streets when they say, um, yeah, when I was your age, I used, I used to do that. I, I don't want to be a used to. I, I don't, you know, that's not the life I want, you know, for my family. That's not the life I want for my family. That's not the life I want for anybody. And, you know, if what I'm doing can pave the way for others to get on, then by all means, you know, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Because, you know, I feel that this can be a beacon for our area. You know, one of my goals, you know, you hear about like, you know, what do you, back then when we was kids, you know, you hear about the, what do you want to be when you grow up? And, you know, they say, oh, I want to be a police officer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be, a, I want to be an actor. But, you know, nobody's doing it anymore. You know, it, it fell into this, this complacent. When I get out of high school, I'm gonna go work at the refinery. When I get out of the hospital, I'm, I'm a, I mean, when I get out of uh, high school, I'm gonna go to Lamar and that's great. That's perfectly fine. But I want people to dream again because when Uncle Sam get his cut out of my check from these films, it's real, it's a government job. So it's like, you know, so it's, you know, once you let go of the lights, camera, action thing, like the red carpet, you realize just how probable and how possible acting is. You know, um, even with personal training, you know, when I first started personal training, a lot of people wasn't doing it. And then when I told people just how probable it is, when I told people just how simple it is just to apply yourself, it's, it's hard because you have to know the anatomy of the body. You have to know like, you know, the skeletal system. You need to know the hormones. You need to know all these things before even getting your certification to being a personal trainer. You have to get your CPR, AED, you know, first aid. You know, you got to do all this, you know, in order to be a certified personal trainer. And even with that, even when you have the book smarts, you still have to have gym smarts. You have to have your own common sense. You have to have people skills because you can have all the knowledge in the world with health and fitness, 
But if you can't talk to people, I mean, it, 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 it's a service and you have to know how to talk to people. So same thing with acting, you know, you have to apply yourself. You really have to like get outside of that. Like, what if people say I should stick to my day job? Like, what if, what if people tell me I should do this? It, it, it's not their life. It, it, it's your life. And it's, you, you have to take the risk. It's like, you, you just have to do it. It's, it's, it's that probable, man. It's, it's really that possible. Hey, I love it, man. Like I told everybody. King's got something to say, but Port Arthur, Texas, we got something to say. I promise you. Like you heard me saying about refinery. Yeah, that's what not what people do. They get out of high school, I'm gonna work at the refinery. Get out of there, I'm gonna go to the market. What I did was I left. I went all the way to the Love completely. Because I wanted my life to be different. And in your life, no matter where you at, if you want your life to be different, sometimes you gotta leave home. That's what he did. He left home. He left home, he never turned back. I left home and I never turned back either. But, you know, what I want to say is this right before we get ready to start everything. Me and me and bro got something to come. We, what we got in common is this right here. We never give up. See, Port Arthur, Texas, y'all might not know where it's at, but everybody's in Port Arthur, Texas. We have the grit where you tell them what we cannot do, we gonna do it. You tell me I can't be this right up, oh, I'm gonna do it, regardless. I'm gonna do it because we had that drive in the, being from Port Arthur, Texas, give us a drive that everybody don't have. Like, some people hit brick walls, and like, oh man, I can't get past. And we come with a jackhammer, we'll plow we'll plot down the whole entire wall. Because we know we are great. We know our city is this small, but we know the heart we have, we real big in Port Arthur, Texas. So shout out to the whole 409 area code, 77640, Port Arthur, Texas. I love y'all, we here, let's go ahead and do it. But right now, we gotta talk about a kid. This king right here, he's so big in my life. Every time I talk about him, hey, he, he's just so, to me, he's like meeting Michael Jordan. That's what he is. I am talking about Mr. Eddie Ray Brown. This whole King series is honoring Mr. Eddie Ray Brown. It's honoring him because he changed so many people's lives. Not just in a barber chair, but he changed him at the boxing gym. He changed him when he spoke to you face to face. That's what he always did. So, rest of power, Uncle Eddie Ray Brown, man, what is one of your fine memories about Mr. Eddie Ray Brown, Justin? Man, I, I actually got a story for you, man. And, and it's, the, people would know this area if they really lived in Port Arthur way back then. I talked to Mr. Eddie at the old Shamrock gas station across the street from the Channel 4 News where it used to be yeah where it used to be and back then you know you know i had my old uh bmx bike with the pegs on it and everything man and i, I had the, the the braids i had that that uh that omari i look going on and, he always, uh, he always, <laughs> yeah, yeah and he you know he was telling me you know when you gonna go he said when you gonna cut them shit like sauce and i was like <laughs> i was like i said man i said so i said why you hating on my hang time man but, um, you know, we, he started talking about something very serious. You know, I asked me what I was going to do with my life when I, when I get out of school. And, you know, I, it was the same thing that I told a lot of people I wanted to act. I wanted to be a singer. I, I wanted to act. Um, acting has been one of my long-term goals for as long as I've been living on this rock. And, you know, he told me something that I always say, and I even said it not too long ago. He told me, you don't want to be like that guy over there at Pops Tires. You know, like, you know Pops Tires, like, literally right down the road. Like, literally right there. Literally, right, he's not, like, it's literally right down the he road. He pointed. He said, down. you don't want to be like that guy over there working. The hurricane hit Pop Tires, Pop Tires still up. Go ahead. <laughs> exactly. And he told me, he said, that dude over there is, is, an, is an amazing artist. This guy over here that works at this, this where they collect cans at. I don't think they even do that no more. They, it, was a, it was a little spot on the corner where they used to collect these soda water cans and they make money off of it. He was literally pointing out to a lot of people in our area that had so much talent, literally so much gifts, but they didn't apply themselves, man. They, they really didn't, they didn't leave home. They didn't take the risk. And I thought about that, man. I, 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 I thought about that 
through my younger years. I thought about that on graduation. I thought about that when I visit Santa Clara, California. I thought about it when I was on the airplane. I think about it now, you know, I, I don't want to, I don't want to be these guys that he pointed out to me. And it's like, sometimes, you know, you have people who say things to you and it may, through, it may just go through one and not the other. But when Mr. Eddie talks to you, you know, it, it resonates in you because, you know, he mean well. Not only does he mean well, you know, he has a heart of gold. So when he passed, you know, it, it really, it, it hurt everybody. It hurt everyone because, you know, when you needed, when you needed that push, when you needed that verbal push, Mr. Eddie got you. And it's like, you know, in order to honor him, do you, do you, do you take steps back? No, you, you have to keep moving forward. You have to keep doing what you told him you was going to do, but not only just for him, but also for you, because you said that you was going to, you said you was going to succeed. You said you was going to excel. So you don't, you don't, you don't fall back. If anything to honor him, you make damn well sure that you progress, that you go against all odds and you progress and you just keep going. I remember my fondest memory of Mr. Eddie is this right here. I remember going to the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? You remember they had Glenn in there, you know, Glenn, Glenn's yeah. always, you know, it was Glenn and Rob. I never liked Rob at all. I never did. Like Glenn, he was always cool. Rob, he just jumped way too much. And I remember I was in the barbershop and uh, I think somebody came to get their hair cut. And I think they couldn't cut it because Mr. Eddie wasn't there yet. He was on his way, you know, his house was right down the street, but he was on the he left and came back. So <laughs> the dude, one of the dudes, like, man, I need to hear him go. I'm gonna go get a haircut by Rob. All right, you go ahead and get your haircut by Rob. Man, Rob messed up the dude how right there in the back. <laughs> and Desmond Henry, I know you remember this too, Desmond Henry. Hey, he messed up his time. He was like, come on, Jacko, you next. Nah, I'm <laughs> Mr. Eddie got there. I told Mr. Eddie, I said to the chair, I said to Eddie, you know what? I'm gonna start growing my hair from now on. <laughs> hey, he was like, he looked at the dude back in the dude's head. He's like, yeah, keep on growing, man. He might as well grow it. And he just dropped so many gems in my life. When I told him about the motivation of speaking and what I was going to do, he watched every King series video. He watched every video I put out. He told me, hey, this video was good. Move your camera this way. Let's do this, this, that, and the other. Even with that video you saw, what a lot of people don't know is I was in Port Arthur and I was trying to go see him so I can go get the video done. I went so long. And shout out to his wife, and I went saw him, and that's when I saw like how much it took over, you know what I'm saying? But he was still smiling, he's still doing everything else. And I ended up sitting right there with him. And you know, you know, he he to me is like a celebrity to me. So seeing him like gotta go to chemo, he ain't lost his hair. It's like, you know, Miss Eddie always had a hood head full of hair. Mm -hmm. you know, he always kept himself nice and dripped up and everything, you know what I'm saying? And this saying him, it's like you seeing your superhero almost fall. And I sat right there and he was like, it's gonna be okay. You know what I'm saying? And I turned my head so he couldn't see me cry, but he heard the video, he was like, I saw him cry. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. just just knowing that I love him for out of Texas and I couldn't do a video, but what he did was he reached out to that dude. He reached out to him, he found him for me. He's like, I'm gonna do something because I told him, I said, don't worry about it. I said, I'm going to come back next year. We're going to be good. He's like, I don't know how long I'm going to be. I said, man, come on. Man, you ain't lived through everything you're going to be. He's like, no. I don't know. And you know, whenever your superhero tells you something, mm -hmm. you got to listen to your superhero. But you know, as being a superhero, you don't want to be a superhero that will fall. So I'm so honored that he done that video. He done it inside his own barbershop. And you know, he was sitting back cool, this, that, and the other. And before he passed away, I remember um, I called his wife. Well, I called him, his wife answered the phone. And she was like, ain't looking too good. And I was like, nah, he going to be OK. I started praying for him right in and there. And I just prayed as hard as I could. And his wife called me back. And she told me he was gone. And I think, man, I was in Pennsylvania driving the truck. And man, I cried so hard. Now, I, I cried like, no, my dad. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he was so strong. But then mm -hmm. as I start crying, I just start thinking, he left the world a gem on this YouTube channel. He mm -hmm. left the world something that everybody can always go back and watch and see everything what he's talking about. And when he said everything he talked about, he left gems on each part of it. 
So when I got ready to do this right here, it was on the right. You already know he always the line. The line is something that he always loved, but we all different. That's why the lines are all different colors. And as you look on the logo for this cover photo, it said honoring Eddie Ray Brown. Just honoring him because guess what? He's been so big in my life and everybody else. Like everybody has to get on this King series. They got to watch this video. They can't watch the video. They can't be a part of it. Because this right here is something that if you was right here to watch it, he'll be so proud of everybody on it. So man, mm -hmm. shout out, rest of power to what I call him, Uncle Eddie Ray Brown. Man, he's been the biggest king I knew in my whole entire life besides God. God is first, but I know God created Mr. Eddie Ray Brown. So, man, rest in power to Eddie Ray Brown. To all your family, we love y'all, and we dedicate this whole thing to y'all because he was so big in our life. So, is something you want to say to him too, sir? You want to say something yeah. to the family? Yeah, man. Um, even now, like, y'all will always be in my prayers, like, all day, every day. And just know that Eddie had did something that most people can't do. And that's literally like bestow knowledge and wisdom in, but also inspire people to do better. So it's like, even though we, we may not be blood related, but he still feels just as family to us as he is to y'all. So we love y'all and we're gonna continue to pray for y'all and thank y'all. Yes. So now we gotta get into the questions right now. Cause you know, man, me, me and bro, man, thinking about him, man, we, we can cry yeah. right now, but he tears of joy because he was so big in our life. So I wanna know something. How do you wear your crown in society? Honestly, I'm at this point where it's like, you, you hear this thing like, oh, oh, I'm in my own lane, I'm in my own lane, but what does that even mean? So when I say I'm in my own, I'm in my own lane, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody. Um, I've done a lot of things that was impossible to a lot of people. Um, I used to be like a buck 10, a buck 20, um, before I even got into health and fitness. I remember and, you was kidding, you were kidding. You yeah. to feed every single day. And I was told, I was told I will always be like my dad. I was told I will always be small like him. So I changed that, you know, I, I, I changed that. You know, then I went from that, then people say like, oh, maybe you should do bodybuilding. Like, ah, and then people say like, oh, I don't know, Jay. Like, I mean, that, that's something totally different, man. I don't know if you got it like that. So I went into bodybuilding. Not only did I go into bodybuilding, I won my first bodybuilding show. I came in first place. So with the acting, you know, I never told anybody because I knew that people, I know how pessimistic people are. And even then I wasn't mentally strong enough to be able to follow my own journey. But now, you know, I, I go against what people tell me what I can't or can do. So the way I wear my crown is like, there's really nothing. <laughs> there's nothing nobody can tell me. There's, no, there's, there's nothing that, that can make a person make me stop because they never, they never took the losses I've taken. They never been in the journey I've took. They still, they, you can't tell me how to walk my journey when you never even took your first step in your own. So the way I wear my crown, like I wear it proud. And I, and I wear it in the sense where it's like, I, I don't have nothing to prove to anybody, like to nobody, because, you know, in my eyes, I feel like I've overcame so much. And in, in, in being that, it's like, if, if you're wearing a crown just to please people, then you're wearing it for the wrong reason. If you, if you, if, if you have to tell people that you're a king, then you're not a king. Because even a king doesn't tell his people that he's a king. They know he's a king. The way he carries himself, he's a king. So the way I wear my crown, <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to. I don't have to tell. I don't have to tell people. They know. They know. I don't have to. You know. It's like you don't really need reassurance because you know when you wake up every day, it's like you you know who you are. So you you wear that crown. I wear my crown with the certainty that I am who I am, and I'm who he say I am. Okay, I love that. 
The next one is, who do you consider to be your king model? You know, your king model, it could be a celebrity, it could be a family member, it could be any, but I know my king model, the celebrity is DMX, the other one is my Uncle May from Max Hill. So that's my king model. So who you can give me, like I said, you can do, you can do a celebrity, or you could do a family member. And I want you to tell me, like, you don't gotta go along with it. Just let me know why are they your king model? Man. Can't use God. God. Can't use God. <laughs> nope. All right, okay. Man, to be honest, man, okay, like that there's there's a few. Um me too. Uh, celebrity, huh? celebrity or family, either one. Me All too. Right. All right, two. Well, one, Mike, my, my guy Michael Beach. Um, you probably know him. A lot of people should know Michael Beach, you know, from Soul Food. Uh, he played in Aquaman, you know, he was Black Mantle's father. He played in what the uh, first Sunday with Tracy Morgan and Ice Cube. Uh, man, uh, me and Michael Beach, man, like I, I, I talk to the guy like on a daily, man, like he's, he's good people. And, you know, what, what, I, what I love about this guy is, you know, he's been acting for like so many years, like since, I, since we was kids and, you know, we had we had a heart to heart conversation one time. You know, he even came to um, the Chinese theater and he supported the whole film festival, like for um, 90 feet from home for the premiere. And um, I missed him by a day. I missed him by the day, but I, I talked to him and I, I talked to him now. And the fact that, you know, he he does his job, he comes home to his family. You know, it's 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 God, family, it's work. It's like it's. Is, I, I love the way he orchestrates his life and he stays away from, from, from the media in a sense where it's like, you don't hear dirt on him. You don't hear no type of crap on him. Like he work and he come home. He's not, he, he ain't in the streets. Like the, the young artists, you see them get caught up doing whatever, like man, family man, but he does his job and he does his job well. And I, I told him, I said, dude, I don't want to be like you, but I admire the way you, I, I admire the way you do what you do. And, and I hope, you know, I pray that one day I could be in a position where, you know, it's just, it's just clockwork. I work, I come home, work, I come home. God gets all the glory. Like, I, I love the way you do that, man. And you just, you out of sight and out of mind. People only know, people only hear about you is on movie trailers, Good Morning America, I'm like, man, that's that, that's amazing. That that's just that's that that's a, that's a good way to live, man. You just God, family, work. You just enjoy life. Mike, let me know you. Let me let you know, my. Hey, I've been watching you for a very very long time. Hey, I don't never see anything bad. So, sir, I'm just like him. I can't wait to God send me somebody so I can be whole base in the video, kids before that church home. This 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 this. Cause matter of fact, what you didn't know, I'm gonna let you get back to it. You know, this is the year that I'm studying to be a personal trainer and I'm studying to be a life coach. So, hey, that's something that I am doing right now. So, we was talking, I was like, yeah, I need to start calling bro a whole lot more often. So, yeah, shout out to you, Mike, man. Salute to you. Keep on doing what you're doing. Just know you got two brothers right from Port Arthur, Texas. We try to be just like you. Well, he's trying, he's going to be like you in the cover of the film. I got some <laughs> going on. But I'm going to, I'm going to find that woman. I'm going to be just like, like, I, I can't snap like he can. But you understand what I mean? <laughs> Who is the one from your family or friend or somebody else you love? So my family, you know, is is always gonna, you know, it's always gonna be my brother. It's always gonna be my brother, you know. Um, no matter how much, you know. Shout his name out. Oh yeah, that's Weston P. Slaughter. You know, because I go by Justin P. Slaughter. You know, P. for Paul. You know, Weston Paul Slaughter. You know, no matter how how busy we get, you know, no matter where we at. It's, you know, it's times where, you know, we, we out of sight and out of mind, but when we link up, it's like, you know, he still clowns me. He still, you know, he still cracks jokes on me as his little brother, but it's, it's all love, it, but it's, it's, it's all love. And, you know, my, my brother himself, you know, he's been through so much over the years and, you know, it's like, I, I, I admire, you know, the man that he became, you know, seeing how he was when we grew up together from, you know, playing with power rangers when we get out of school and everything and then you know seeing how he's a he's a husband and, and father like it's you know i, I definitely um ad admire that i admire that to the fullest and you know he's he's always going to be if not my you know i should even set him first because you know that's you know that's, that's my blood and you know it's 
we we you know we right he's he gonna tell you something don't worry about it. i know you bro. yeah he gonna say he gonna say man he said mike cool man but you should have said my name first and everything. i, I like, know yeah, man. <laughs> yeah your brother man i've been knowing his brother his brother's very cool man shout out shout out his brother right quick that's him right there man that's him yeah that's really him. cool dude man i'm talking about don't, tell jokes don't kill me when you I, see I, me <laughs> man, i remember going to school it was him and josh Pollard when they started joking they never stopped. Justin, Josh Polidor, him, and Justin Jackson, bro, yeah. like, had the whole table just, just rolling, like, just, man, hey, it, it, man, they, 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 trust me, I can't talk about it. <laughs> I start laughing, man. It's like, but, man, I got to shout him out one more time, man. Brother, his brother, yeah. too, man. Big shout out, man, big shout out. Yeah, he going to tell you something about you not saying the first. I was going to say something, but. Yeah, he is. He, he is. He is. Yeah. So, hey. Ask you a question from Puerto Texas, no? Land of trip, as they say. Hey, do you like playing game, bro? Well, man, it, it gets it gets competitive. Like me and my family, we had we had game night a while back, and um, we played Uno. We we <laughs> we, we played Uno, and um, you know we 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 played we we played it was it was late it was pretty late we, we played pretty late and um. I'm not gonna say somebody cheated. I'm not gonna say somebody cheated. Yeah, about to start the kill. Get one of the family was in trouble. Hey, right, <laughs> I got something for you. I got something. You about to see this go across your screen real quick. Now it is time for the wordplay. Yes, the wordplay. I created the wordplay because you know what? I want to stump these queens. The queen series, I couldn't stump them, but it's gonna be real good if I can stump my brother from Port Arthur, Texas. It's gonna be real good. So I'm gonna say three words. I want you to tell me what comes to your heart, what comes to your mind, whatever it is. It could be a name, it could be a place, it could be a thing. Cool? Cool. Okay. Your first one is gonna be, I got a school for you. What do you think about you think about Lincoln High School? What comes to your head? Best band. And you gotta keep on going. Best band. That's school. The school my mom graduated from. The school I wanted to go to before Titans and all that stuff merged. Um, west side of Port Arthur. <laughs> refineries. <laughs> Just refineries on the west Carver side. Carver Terrace. <laughs> No, Carpenter was on, yeah, Carpenter was on that side. Lewis Manor. Lewis Manor. Uh, Booker T. Washington. Booker T. Washington. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, like, Fort Arthur, Texas, growing up, like, I didn't look at it as hood. It was fun. You know what I'm saying? Everything in Fort Arthur, Texas was just fun all the time. Everybody had they, that beer, everybody had a beer of the You know what I'm Everybody had one. 15 in the truck. You couldn't hear nothing. I'm surprised I can hear right now. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> That's Port Arthur, Texas, but Lincoln High School. Lincoln High School is one of your ones. You almost got stumped, but we're going to let you pass. As a matter of fact, since you almost got stumped, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you one extra word because you almost got stumped. So I'm going <laughs> to let you I'm gonna let you go past though. So, okay, your next one is going to be, let me see something. Gulfway. Tell everybody about Gulfway. Uh, short stop on the corner. Market basket, TJ High School, but it now it's it's middle school. Um, Walgreens, Vincent Seafood, but that's not no, yeah, Vincent Seafood. Um, Popeyes always been Popeyes. The 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 uh, the car wash across the street from Popeyes. It used to be a Taco Bell. Now it's a uh, it's a it's a uh, Chinese restaurant. Guffway, man. What about Gulf Breeze? Longs, the bricks. <laughs> you got the potholes though. Oh man, hey, that's when you know. That's when you know you're on Guffway, man. It's you mess up your whole uh, alignment, man. Just driving on Guffway. <laughs> hey, bro, look, I went down there one day and I was like, oh, I went to say, man, I'm gonna give me a Hellcat. You know what I'm saying, bro? I had to stop at every single light. You know what I'm saying? Every single time. So my, my uncle, we passed by me, and I'm, I got the pipes on this. It's like, I'm going, I'm, I'm sitting for Texas on fire. My uncle's like, dude, 
Do you know where you at? You got lost your everlasting mind. Like you burn a rubber, you don't you burn a rubber all the way down from the west side all the way to the east side. We can hear you going down the street. You have blew everybody's windows out trying to drive this car. But man, that was the way. So hey man, I'm glad how you caught those. So another one, we gonna say, oh man, Central Mall. Oh man. <sighs> The place that it was, it was, it used to be the place, you know, the, the, the movies, the movie what was, it was Dickinson, Dickinson, um, the, the theaters, man. Uh, you got, yeah, Foot Locker, you had Champs, you had a uh, finish line, the, the food court, man. Oh, Central Mall. Like that was, that was Friday night, Friday night after, after school, man. If, if a movie came out, it was packed, even though fights broke out. Even though the police showed up, even though people got maced, it was still the place to be. Um, man, Central Mall. Wait till your next one I got for you. I got another one for you. You ready? Yeah. Tell everybody about Rose Hill Park. The land of the fights. <laughs> <laughs> the land of the fights. Not only the land of the fights, they had some concerts there. Matter of fact, man, that's... They, it used to be almost every Saturday, a lot of biker clubs used to show up there. They used to show up there all the time. Barbecues, all types of little parties and everything, man. Just food, family, kids, everything, man. It's, oh man, like the, the parties just didn't stop until the police came. Okay. And then it changed to ready to run. <laughs> yeah. You could see Dave Middle School, everything. Woodrow Wilson, everything that turned into something else. He said, I, he said how great we was when we first started. He said, I was like, yeah, it was real good. Then he's like, yeah, and then it detoured. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. it went downhill quick. Yeah, real quick. So this is going to be your last one. When I say put out to Texas, for somebody ain't never been there, paint a picture for them. Good food. If you want some, 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 decent, some decent home-cooked food, it's humid. It's hot. Very humid. The climate is very bipolar. So you need to bring you some winter clothes, some summer clothes, some spring clothes, some fall clothes, and get ready to wear all four of those in one day. Other than that, make sure you get some spare tires because if you're driving down on you know the west side of Port Arthur, heading to the east, you're probably gonna get a flat. Um, People got bug spray. <laughs> you got you got these mosquitoes these mosquitoes is on a different story like they they on they on steroids or something like i don't like they they hurt it, it feels like you're getting hit by, by 10 people at the same time like these, these mosquitoes are not real and the mosquito spray don't work it it, it, it you can buy it it, it just gives them more, the mosquito you spray them and give them more power to just you kill one of them they still start buzzing around half of the way yeah man hey man look Hey, bro, you have won the wordplay. Do you want to know what you have won? Let me know what it is. You have won Jeremiah Richardson's new CD coming out next month. Hey, Jeremiah, I told you I was going to promote you, bro. I told you. <laughs> Let's get it. All right. I don't know what the CD is, though. I don't. No, so I got a case. <laughs> and you have won something else. You have won one link from BJ's. No T's, just the boonet. Hey, I, I need that. I, I need that. No cheese, though. You don't get no cheese. No cheese. <laughs> I'm about to bring my own cheese. I'm about to bring my own cheese. And I could get you a half of a, a half of a corn candy, so you can't have a whole thing on the half half. Hey, a half is better than nine. Hey, a half is better than nine. Oh yeah, and we got you a cool cup. Got a cool cup. That's another thing that people should they should look forward to when they come out here. A cool cup, and a lot of people don't know what a cool cup is. It's the next thing better than ice cream. Yeah, and you can make them anywhere. And then, who can ever forget? I got you something. I got you a pickle with the, boy, the peppermint to go inside of it. How about that? Yeah, so see that right there? You see how you made that face right there? See, the bad thing about it, y'all gonna see the dentist when he leaves for the take out eating all that right there. You gotta but see, with the, with the cool cup, you gotta hit it from the bottom just so it can come up and, and flip it. You, you gotta was, flip it. Hey, man, we going, we going back down memory lane. Let's hear him go through these questions, man. Okay. What are you doing in your life today to develop future kings? <sighs> you know, I would say that's hard, but it's actually pretty easy. I'm, I'm, I'm building a door. 
I'm building a door that's pretty much a opportunity, possibility, something that something that's very needed in our in our area. And being that I can't I can't live forever. So whenever I kick the bucket, when whenever God calls, calls me home, I know that 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 door is gonna be there for any young king to just walk on through and they don't have to struggle the way that I struggle to get there. I love that. Like that was really good, bro. And you're really doing an amazing job with opening this door. Like I, I see what you're doing. Like everything I see what you're doing on social media, I'll be like, man, my bro I'm doing it. Like I don't see when I see him on Facebook, Instagram, I don't care what he be doing. I'm just so proud. He just he loves what he's doing. You can see it, everything he's doing. He's not doing it for the fame of he's doing it because he loves doing it. But I've been on, he's been wanting to do this acting thing for a very, very, very long time. He tell everybody what he's gonna do, this, that, and the other. And guess what? I always look at him like, bro, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? But they yeah. have a lot of other people look at him like, man, go ahead, man. How you gonna be an actor in California? Look over here, man. Yeah. But, but see, your mentality always has to be bigger than where you at. Your mentality always has to be bigger than where you at. I never knew I was gonna be in Atlanta like this, but I always thought I wasn't gonna be in Broad Texas. And I wasn't moving to Houston. Houston is still in Texas. I wanted to move away. Like, when I go home and see my mom, it takes hours to go see my mom. Because <laughs> when I get ready to leave, it takes hours to go back. So, the next one is this right here. What behaviors do you see in mainstream society that's sending out the wrong king development message to all the kings? Oh, man. It's, it's, oh, man. It's, you know, you have a lot of, you, you got a lot of people that's, that's in the position to help and you 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 can't tell somebody you can be whatever you want to be when you when you grow like you you can be this and you can know you know uh be optimistic and then the next day you get caught up on a gun and drug charges like it it, it definitely sends the, the wrong message you know we have a lot of rappers that's that's like that 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 the that the kids look up to, and you know it's it, it it sends the wrong message because as as men as kings, you know the latest shoes definitely doesn't make you a king. The the jewelry you wear doesn't make you a, a, a king. The the car you know it doesn't make you a king. You know how many how many women it doesn't make you a king. You know it's. It, it it can make you get a disease though. But go ahead. It will make you get a disease. It will make you get caught up. It will make it will make a lot. It'll make you like a joker. It'll make you like a joker. And it's like, man, it's it's it's, it's so toxic. It's, it's very toxic because um when you're when you put in this kind of position to give back, you know, you 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 gotta be careful what you're giving. You know, you gotta be careful what you're giving because you know. Are you really in that right position? Even if you're like have a person that has like a million followers, like what what seeds are you planting? What what seeds are you planting? Are you are you planting toxic seeds that when it grows, it, you just you're growing a lot of toxic fields and 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 it, and it spreads like wildfire. You don't you don't want people. You don't want the young kings. You don't want the princes to to grow up like you. You want them to be better, and that's the image that every king should be spreading to the youth is to grow to be better not not to be just like i love it because you have to always change your reality your mentality to your reality and i tell people that a lot how can you say you want to be x y and z and only you have you have negative thoughts every single day i mean i, I tell you this a lot life is gonna fight back life is gonna hit you you can put up your guards, or you can take it to the face. Guess what? I love my face. I ain't taking nothing to the face. I'm swinging back every single time. Because I know life gonna swing at me. That's just what happens. But you know what? I got something, I got something special for y'all. Because I think for the Queen series, y'all looked at it, y'all thought it was a joke. Like, that's what I think sometimes. Like, man, this might have to be a joke. Hey man, now it is time for the motivational prayer. These motivational prayers ain't going nowhere like your mama ain't gonna never leave your daddy, okay? So y'all get ready for it, man. 
these motivational prayers are great because I feel like sometimes some people don't know how to pray. And I know they don't. So I feel like one thing me and bro have going on when it comes to prayer, we know what prayer does in our life. We know what prayer does for our city. We know what prayer can do for you. But you also have to make sure you are being the right king, you are being the right queen, and you're praying to God and telling God what to do. We all make mistakes. But guess what? God forgives everything. You got to learn from your mistakes. So, bro, since you are the first person on the team series, I want you to start it off with a prayer. Once again, not a Thanksgiving prayer, a little prayer. I want you to start off with a prayer. And after you say amen, I'm going to say amen and we'll go ahead and do the video, okay? Once again, let me say it again. We're not doing Thanksgiving prayer. And one reason I got to tell him because I know him. He will give you this long Thanksgiving prayer by the time the video will be like, is he still praying? That's just, bro. Bro, love prayer like I do. So, hey, we're going to close it down to a little one. Then I'm going to do mine because we still got, I think, one or two more questions left. Father God, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for us, for everything that you blessed us with. But one thing, let us not forget that it's your will, not our will. And let your will be done as it is in heaven, as it shall be on earth. And we give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God, as I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for Justin being able to do this King series. I want you to keep on blessing him and his family. And God, right now, what you do is, God, I want you to bless my whole entire city, our city of Port Arthur, Texas. Bless everybody down there right now, God. Give them prayer of just greatness and glory. Being happy and proud for where they're from. God, let me guarantee you to make the right decisions and not the wrong decisions. God, to anybody down there in Port Arthur, Texas right now, just know that we love you and we're doing everything right now so we can keep on showing the king that we are from the unlike the doors for you. Amen. I was so proud of you actually give that long Sunday Thanksgiving prayer. Man, I was like, man, I'm going to edit this video real good. I it. So what I want you to do is right now is I want you to give out. You can pick either one you want. You can pick Instagram or you can pick Facebook. I want you to give me either one. And then we're going to move on to the next question because, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, you are the you know what. So it don't matter who you give to them. They're going to follow you regardless. And everybody, if you give you the Instagram, I'll be giving you on Facebook, even when they get it to you. They got more links at the bottom of the video you need to go check out. Yeah, it's uh, Instagram, you know, dot com slash Justin P. Slaughter. Or you could just Google Justin P. Slaughter and all my social media handles is on there. Cool. You can Google Kyle Jacko, but yeah, make sure you just refresh the page. because <laughs> right away. So look, this is what we're going to do right now. You've done such an amazing job, bro. I'm going to put my microphone on mute. I want you to close out the whole video. You're the first person of it. So I want you to close out the whole entire video. And hey, my name is Kyle Jacko. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. But look, I'm leaving you in good hands with my bro. Go ahead, bro. Thanks for having me. I'm very honored to be a part of this King series. And I hope y'all enjoy this. Feel free to ask us any questions on our social media handles. And yeah, just keep tuning in, keep checking us out. Definitely tune in and check it out because we are dropping gems. We are dropping knowledge and wisdom. But we also want to make sure that not only are you hearing us, but you're also listening and you're receiving the things that we have to offer to y'all. So yeah, take it easy.